Hey guys, um, finally figured out what that vibration was. It just clicked. Um, I have balancing beads in the tires, and uh, what's happening is the tires are a little bit, uh, they're a little bit low, the front ones. Um, so when I'm driving, the friggin' balancing beads are getting friggin' out of alignment and, or whatever they do, and it's friggin' uh, just kind of messing with the, messing with it, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for my present. My, my new uh, surprise. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I'm getting so many looks around town with this thing. It's so funny. When I pulled up to fill it up at the gas station, just the people pumping, they're just like, it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it's just awesome. And it's like the, I think the exhaust finally got broken in because it's a lot quieter now. But when you rev it, she still has got that, uh, that aggressive sound that I want. But it's a lot quieter when it's just idling, which is cool because that's what I want. I don't want it to be freaking louder as frig when you're uh, just sitting there idling it. But I got to get a rad fan in it really bad because if I sit for too long, she'll just overheat. And I don't, uh, don't need those kind of problems, so... Um, I'll try to find my rad fan, and then, yeah. Well, I just went to check the tire pressure, and uh, the valve won't seat again, so she's friggin' leaking. So that, that's great. So I'm gonna have to like take the valve core out and friggin' put a new one in because this one's friggin' ruined. Yeah. I got the friggin' compressor going because I need to friggin' fill up my tire now, so for frig's sakes, why can't stuff just be easy? So now I gotta find all my valve uh, cores. I got a whole bottle of them, but I don't know where they got. Oh. Yeah, I do. They were in this little friggin' container, but uh, it opened, so now they're all over everywhere. Those will work. Now I gotta find my core tool, hopefully it was put back. Otherwise it's buried in the snow. Well, it was put back, so now I gotta friggin' uh For sakes. But, yeah, no, this one's just ruined. There, no more problems. What? Oh, that's better. Yeah, 20 pounds, so I'll go to friggin' top her up. <sighs> see what the other one's at. Hopefully this one doesn't do the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit frustrating. Oh, you're freaking kidding me. It had 38 pounds. That's frustrating. Yeah, it's these stupid ones with these little plastic nubbins on them. This middle section here with the black ring around it, it's like floating. So when you push on it, it friggin... Let's see if I can do that. Not really. But um, this top threaded part separates from that part and uh, if it doesn't seat back 100% properly, you're going to leak, so I swapped them out for conventional ones because, you know what, they work. Well, I got them topped up to about uh, 38, 40 pounds, so I'll see how she does with the friggin' vibrations now. And if there's still some, then I'll try letting some air out, maybe run 32. Well, um, I'm not going to get a whole lot done today. Um, 
pretty close to just calling it a day, but uh, look forward to this weekend because my uh, special surprise is going to be awesome. Um, I'm not going to give you guys any hints, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, so uh, you guys just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, anyways, I guess until tomorrow, take care. Uh, I tricked you guys. Um, I actually want to get this motor mount uh, kind of designed that way I can get to work on it. But uh, so this one is raised up past these three, it looks. So I'm going to have to use uh, maybe I'll weld a, a couple washers onto the motor mount plate, this plate, and uh, just leave that one flat so it'll be flat. Um, so, how I'm going to get the bolt pattern is I tried laying this down, I'm going to have to cut it first and I'm not uh, not really feeling like doing that today so what I'll end up doing is probably get a piece of paper or something and friggin put a bit of grease on that and then very carefully like press it onto it and then that should give me the pattern um, yeah but this plate is actually not going to work Dang it. Frick. Unless I just do those bottom three, which I very well could do. Then I don't have to worry about washers or nothing. I want to start friggin' working on this again really bad because, you know, like I'm not really doing any fabrication and I really enjoy fabrication, so I need to start doing some fabrication. Uh, I also need to start doing some cleanup. Get rid of a whole bunch of crap. Um, I could do that tomorrow or something. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll try to figure out this motor mount and show you guys what I come up with. Okay, well I don't know how well you guys can see it. I can see it pretty good through the viewfinder, so I'm assuming you can too. But, uh, I think I might do the three bolts and then I'll just, uh, leave the top one go. But, uh, that should be strong enough, I'm hoping. Uh, if not, I can always uh, make another tab because don't fall. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it like that and then I'll just notch around it and then around that one as well. But uh, if I do need this top bolt, I can weld another plate onto it like that and probably... I think I measured it up and the motor mount is centered somewhere around here. So um, what I plan on doing is coming off here with a pipe or something. Um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see when uh, I drop the motor in and see how she lines up, but uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do on the Toyota side of the uh, motor mounts. For that I kept these, these bolt onto the stock mounts and then uh, like how I mounted the 4.3 liter Chevy motor in the Toyota is I used these off it and I just welded uh, two tabs on the side of it to go to the Chevy motor mounts so I'll probably be doing that again for the Toyota and there's my other one so uh, I got my left and my right but it doesn't matter because they're friggin identical I might try using the, uh, the old electric pencil if I can get a good enough ground yeah, that See if I can uh, trace out the mounts like that. I don't know if it'll burn through paper. Oh, I guess that'd be a no. But uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. I really need a tripod. <laughs> three friggin holes there so now all I gotta do is uh, cut the frickin mount off after I get this piece of metal out of my sleeve because it's freaking burning and doesn't feel very good there we go you guys heard it fall um, 
Yeah, so take this out and see how it lines up. It should should work. Well, it would be a lot easier to tell if this was cut, but uh, from what I see, it looks like she'll work. Can't really see that one, but uh, I apologize. I keep freaking going up with it. Yeah, no, they uh, those work. Friggin' rates. So now all i got to do is uh, cut it. I'll probably cut it about there. And then uh, I've got all this area up there to uh, mount. Friggin' rights. So there's a little bit of custom fabrication for you guys. I figured like it's been a while. I can't leave you guys hanging with that stuff. So uh, yeah, I guess it's dinner time now. So uh, until tomorrow, take care guys.